Good morning everyone. I am back and uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a, a one of those cap pours. So what you need for this is a couple of uh, caps from a bottle and you need a nice background color which I'm going to use this uh, really nice beige color. And I, I watched a video about making those dot paintings. I think I might do that one of these days. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Consistency of the paint is uh, nice for this. I think I might start one today, who knows. So um, I'm going to do the background with, uh, uh, I'm pouring with Windsor & Newton, and this color is Naples yellow with a lot of titanium white. And I get a lot of people asking me to put the colors underneath the video, but guys, I'm not going to do that because I think that is pretty boring and it will sort of constrain you in your color choice. And that's something you don't want to do because you want to be open to mix your own colors, make something really pretty. That's all your own choice. But um, this is, like I said, Naples yellow and a lot of titanium white, and it gives us this nice warm beige color, creamy color. So there it is, nice and covered. Now I'm going to do the uh, sides also straight away so that I don't have to do that, don't have to tilt everything once it's uh, poured. Uh oh, uh oh, there goes my yellow. I don't have much room on this table. There's a lot of, um, I have a lot of colors because I'm going to use a lot of colors. And uh, that's why I don't have a lot of color, I have a lot of space on my table. I'm a little bit distracted, yes, you might notice. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about a lot of stuff, but I'm. I'm just thinking, um, do they really want to know? Well, first off, I'm watching uh, The Good Wife. Someone told me to watch it. And I hadn't watched it before, so I have seven seasons of Good Wife. And I'm up to season five. Yeah, I'm a binge watcher. You got me. I am. There you go. That's nice and covered. Yep. It, ooh, down there, I forgot a little bit. So I really am, I am enjoying the uh, series, it's pretty awesome. And the amount of, um, um, you know, uh, stars that are in there, that is amazing. Even the sheriff from uh, Norman Bates Hotel, he just uh, popped in, so that is <laughs> pretty awesome. Okay guys, um, what I have is, this one is uh, the permanent green and it has a little yellow in it just to sort of give it a, just a little bit of a different color. I have uh, burnt umber, I have my own turquoises, two of them, and this is just um, using phthalo blue and green and titanium white, and the more green or the more blue you put in, that's the, the side it goes to. Then I have the normal cadmium orange and yellow, and I have a little bit of this color. But these all contain silicone, so the background, no silicone whatsoever, and in every single color I have silicone. That's for the people that want to really know exactly what I'm pouring with today. So now, you can just see it down here, I'm going to fill up these little bottle caps with uh, my colors of choice. Here they are, I'm gonna use five. So here we go. I'm gonna start off with the uh, with the beige color. I like to call it eggshell because it, is, it has a really nice eggshell color. Our eggs are this color. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of turquoise. And this one is more of the greenish turquoise because I used a little bit more of the green, phthalo green. And then I'm gonna really 
add the green whoops I'm dripping all over the place but that doesn't matter otherwise it's going to take too long so we're going to add that then we're going to add the uh, burnt sienna this is a color I don't mix so this is straight from the uh, from the jar and as you can see I'm giving it all the same colors now I have a turquoise blue and there's really uh, not really a lot of paint involved in this maybe a tiny little splash of orange just a little bit not too much maybe some a little more than the other there it is coming back with beige and they're filling up nicely I'm gonna skip the uh, Prussian blue because I'm, I just think you know it doesn't need that there it is okay we got the greens in we got everything in that we want uh, we skipped yellow and we skipped Prussian blue so we'll keep that one for, for another, another painting so we're gonna put them on but I'm going to put them on like this divided smack down the middle there they go and then of course we need a little bit of paint to uh, release the uh, colors in And for this I use a, a squirt bottle because that is really uh, easy to you know put that paint on the canvas with this you can really see what's happening with it okay see that it's ready now we're gonna push and pull all over but after this we're going to do something else to it also we're gonna blow it with a straw I'm not going to use my airbrush I have an airbrush because people always when I use a straw they always say oh you should use an airbrush I know but I have one and I'm not gonna use it okay let me blow a little bit That's about enough. Then we're gonna torch it to get some pretty cells. There we go. There we have all the pretty cells and then we're going to move it just a little bit. So we're gonna move it up and down and a little bit down here and a little bit up here that's about it those are really pretty cells and then we're going to add some there we go turning it up there okay it's starting to look pretty I'm just leveling it out just a little bit although you don't really need to because it will uh, level out all by itself oh yeah that's the uh, the cap the bottle cap okay I think I need a, a different straw, a little thin one. Yeah, 
that's looking okay, but I think I can do better with a piece of um, photo paper. Because I, I would like to pull them a little bit. Right now it's nice, but I think if we pull it a little bit, it'll be just that little bit nicer. So let's see what we can do with it. Oops. And have to get a cloth to keep on cleaning it. I'm not really liking the way this is working because it's pretty much contaminating the paint, so I'm going to stop right there. And that's a sort of a lesson learned because you never, uh, if you're seeing that it's not working like you're thinking it's going to work, you should just stop with it. And you can always come back with something else. Let's see. Um, yeah, one of my little bamboo things here. Because I do want it to be a little bit that it flows off into the sides. Just a tiny bit. Like that. It makes it just a little bit more interesting when you see those things sort of flowing from them. There it is. And when this dries, it'll dry absolutely flat, so there's no problem about that. Okay, I think this is what we wanted because when this dries it's going to be really pretty. Sorry about the noise guys, but there it is. See how it sort of nicely flows all over the place to all sides? And I'm just watching to see where I pulled the, the bamboo stick through it that it is going to, uh, you know, here in the background that it'll close. And that's what it's doing, so that's okay. I have to torch it one more time because I see just a few little air bubbles. Oops. And we don't want too many air bubbles. it. Okay, I think this is a nice one. There it is. And always, you know, when you're thinking, oh, I see here a little bit of um, a canvas exposed, don't wait too long because uh, you want the, the paint to be uh, the same, you know, in the same dried state so that it can still flow into each other. So always do that before you put your painting away. Don't think I'll do that tomorrow because that's going to get you in trouble. Okay, this one too. A little bit up here and here. I want to be careful that I don't touch those corners again. Okay. I'm going to put this away for a bit and I'm going to use the last drips that I have in my uh, bottle caps. So back in a second. Now I have a big yellow mess on the floor because I dropped a lot of yellow paint. It's not a good thing. And I'm going to see if I can get some paint out of here into the bottle caps. And 
not that much. I think it's best if I just add a little. So just adding a couple of drops into uh, one of these bottle caps. And then smacking it right smack in the middle. Yes. And around around we go. And we're going to do that. And then I want to press this one on top. Very softly I'm sort of making sure that the paint is all over the paper. Then we'll get the little bamboo stick to help me open it up. Oops. Very pretty. That's really brightly colored, isn't it? That is really pretty. And of course, I'm already thinking about um, the pendants because I've made a couple. I'll be putting them on uh, my Etsy store. Uh, not, maybe not today, but before the end of uh, tomorrow, end of Sunday. There it is. That's pretty. So that we're going to use for jewelry. And I want to do one little swipe just to see how these colors hold up together. So what I'm going to do is just put a drop on here. There it is. And oh yes, our Sienna. It's one of my favorite colors though. Yes. So what we're going to do is push it up and pull it down. Now that is really pretty too. And I can do something with that. So I'm going to add just a little dusting of uh, bronze glitter. Not too much because you don't want to make it too glittery, but just a little shimmer. Not even sure you can see that, but it's a real light shimmer. Um, when I do resin on top of this, when I use it for a pendant, then it'll, it'll sort of come to life. Let me get in really close. Don't know why that's not working. Oh, there it is. I want you to see the definition in the cells because uh, I think it's kind of uh, pretty especially the color combination. Okay guys, thanks for this one. I'm going to be doing a little clean up here because I have a big mess over here and then I'll be right back. And I'm going to do a small one with a push and a pull. We haven't done that for a long, long time. Um, this wasn't a, a, a push and a pull, that was just a bottle cap thing. But I'm going to do a push and a pull when I get back to you guys. So. Thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces. Leave all See you in a bit.